we will proactively contribute to the creation of a region that is open, free, inclusive, transparent and equal and operates under a rules-based order. As Taiwan has shown in its efforts to combat COVID-19, real change is possible through collaboration, particularly where the people trust their government, where their government is open and transparent, where the people are brought in as partners. The European Union is among those that are clearly saying that Taiwan must be able to come back to the position it once had in the uh, system of collaboration, exchange of information and working together that the World Health Organization represents. The spread of the virus is a threat to both lives, life size and dignity, which is a threat to human society around the world. I think there is nothing more resilient than culture and human civilization. As long as the world is willing to welcome Taiwan with open arms, Taiwan will surely make even greater contributions to global public health and medical care. History told us that future challenges are very merciless and helping hand needed to settle them more than ever. A lot of discussions over new and higher technology, but I'm recommending that we should be creative and be creative can be anything you may not think of or think about during good times. In the midst of great change, we should encourage world leaders not to move away from multilateralism, but to find creative and comprehensive solutions to economic, social and political problems through cooperation in multilateral contests. I would like to encourage that all nations in this region, including those that are not yet involved, like Taiwan, and in the future try to set up, maybe this is something what we call multilateral uh, collaboration, in a way we can share the data, we can look at the data, and we can come up with action, preventive actions together. Thank you, Dr. Huff. That really uh, ties into this thread of uh, multilateral collaboration on the commons and also about a digital infrastructure that's part of the resilience strategy that all the different nations can join through their data curation and contributions. So, if we have few common values and we cannot advance common interests, 
the time has come for a new dynamic in our relations. And we should start by renewing Europe's relations with Taiwan. The United States stands ready and willing to work with your nations towards ensuring a more stable and economically prosperous Indo-Pacific region. We are committed to standing against powers that would undermine those ideals. The key principles of the policy, namely people-centric philosophy, mutual assistance for mutual benefit, and sustainable development, will continue to guide Taiwan in our relations with our partners in, the, in this region and around the world.